Hey everyone, welcome back to Dissolva Designs. Today I'm going to teach you a super simple, easy way to make this beautiful, gorgeous Christmas garland. Please, please, please use whatever yarn you have and whatever hook size you have. Today I'm using a five millimeter hook and I am using my leftover cone of Lily Sugar and Cream Christmas yarn. This is 100% cotton yarn. I love it. Um, I got this at Joann. You can get the use their 50% off coupon when they have it. These are originally like $15, so you could get it for $7.50, like $8 plus tax. It's really, really awesome. I've had this since last year, and I've done so many projects with it. I highly, highly recommend their yarn. Again, it's Lily's Sugar and Cream. Um, you guys won't even need any yarn needles or anything. You're just going to need a pair of scissors, of course. So let's get started. Okay, everyone, so I did grab a pair of scissors. Just grab a pair of scissors for the end of your project. Now we are going to start, again, grab any size hook any any yarn that you have i always say recommend um use the hook size that the manufacturer rec recommends okay so we're gonna have a tail oh, like right about there again this is your project make it your own so let's chain 14. one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we just chained 14. It doesn't have to be 14. It could be whatever number you want it. Just make it your own, okay? So, but this is how you make the actual garland. What, however many you chain, you want to take, we're gonna start off with a double crochet in the third stitch, in the third stitch from the hook, okay? So you count back one, two, three, three stitches from your hook. So we're going to be working right here in this stitch, okay? So you yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again. We're gonna make a double crochet and we're going to do a total of seven in that one stitch. And the first chain three counts as a double crochet, okay? So, and it's all in the same stitch. Two, how many do we have? Four, five, six, and a total of seven. Okay, so once we have the seven, we made a little fan here. Sometimes the yarn cooperates, sometimes it doesn't. You have a big hole here, don't worry about it. That's just part of the charm, it's handmade. That's what you tell people. Okay, so now we are going to do a next fan of double crochets, and all you do is chain three at the beginning. One, two, three. You turn over your work, and we are going to be working in that same stitch that the chain three just came out of. Okay, and we're going to put a total of it's six double crochets plus a chain three. How many am I at? Four, five, six, seven. And you guys, that's it. That's the pattern. So what I did was I did uh, double crochets and I also did triple crochets. So I'll show you how to do a triple crochet. So with a triple crochet, what I did was just alternate. You chain four, so that's one, two, three, and four. Turn your work in the same stitch right here where the chain is coming out of. You, that's where you want to put six more triple crochets, okay? So there's one, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, and here comes the seventh. Oh no, I started doing double crochets. three, two, one. So we have four, five, six, and seven. Okay. And honestly, when I did my garland, I did, you know, a four or five triple crochets in a row, then I alternated double crochet, triple crochet. Just make it your own. It doesn't matter if you want it all double crochet, do it. If you want it all triple crochet, just do the same thing. Uh, let's do one more double crochet just so you can see what it looks like. Chain three, turn in the same stitch right here, the first stitch, put six more double crochets. That's one two, three, four, five, and six for a total of seven, including what is going on here. There we go. Sorry about that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Oh, I didn't finish this one. <laughs> Seven. So that's what it looks like, okay? And you just continue for however long you want it. I like the look of this cute little um, chain in the front. So whenever you're done, however you're long, you want your project, your garland to be, all you do is continue with the same amount of chains on the other side. And then you are done. So this is just a cute little sample. And you guys, it, this is so easy. You just zone out, you do it in front of the TV, you do it wherever, and it's super quick and it's super easy and it looks super, super cute. Thank you so much, and that's it, that's it. All you do is cut it. You don't even have to tuck any ends in. You just cut your strand and there you go. Hang it up and enjoy your, your beauty because it's so cute. Thank you so much for watching my tutorials, you guys. This was super, super simple, super easy. I'm trying to find more super quick, super easy tutorials for you. If you haven't, if you liked my channel, please, please, please consider subscribing. Um, I have a ton of yarn giveaways all the time. But thank you so much for watching my video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, and we will see each other in the next one. Bye!